By now, you've heard Matt Gates is Donald Trump's pick for attorney general. Well, there might be some problems with that. But I serve with some real scumbags. Look, uh, uh, Matt Gates, uh, he paid uh, minors to have sex with him at drug parties. Bob Good endorsed my opponent, a known neo-Nazi. These people used to walk around with white hoods at night. Now they're walking around with white hoods in the daytime. Yeesh. And that was a Republican congressman talking about him. And he's not the only one. Republican senators are also talking about him. This is a guy that didn't have, that the media didn't give a time of day to after he was accused of sleeping with an underage girl. And there's a reason why no one in the conference came and defended him because we had all seen the videos he was showing on the House floor that all of us had walked away of the girls that he had slept with. He'd brag about how he would crush ED medicine and, and, and chase it with um, with an energy drink so he could go all night. This is obviously before you got married. And so when that accusation came out, no one defended him, and then no one on the media would give him a time of the day. Oof, gets rougher and rougher. And it's not like this is all new. This has been going on for a while. Remember when Kevin McCarthy was kicked out of Speaker of the House? Here's why. And I'll give you the truth why I'm not Speaker. It's because one person, a member of Congress, wanted me to stop an ethics complaint because he slept with a 17-year-old. An ethics complaint that started before I ever became speaker, and that's illegal, and I'm not going to get in the middle. Even after all of that, he still has supporters in the Senate, like this guy. I don't know. You're finding all the swamp creatures coming out right now. Everybody's got the, an opinion up here, but at the end of the day, President Trump was elected by an enormous vote, and he deserves a team around him that he wants. It's not us to determine that. We've got 53 votes in the Senate. We can confirm with 51. I've already seen where a couple of them says, I'm not voting for him. Wait a minute. You are not the United States of America. You have one vote in the U.S. Senate. You did not get a elected president. Vote with President Trump. This is the last chance we're going to have of saving this country. And if you want to get in the way, fine. But we're going to try to get you out of the Senate, too, if you try to do that. That was Senator Tommy Tuberville or Tuberville or whatever from Alabama saying, if you don't pass Matt Gates as the attorney general, we're going to get rid of you in the Senate. So basically, he's saying, do whatever Donald Trump wants or we're coming after you. Which, by the way, the whole idea of the Senate is supposed to be that they're supposed to see the people that have been nominated and, and vet them and then make sure that these people are qualified and then vote on that. Now, usually there's party line votes, but when you get a nomination like Matt Gates, who is not qualified at all to be attorney general, even if it weren't for all of these, the, the sexual allegations with underage girls he's not qualified he's this party guy with wacky hair and a lot of botox who really should be you know maybe the manager of a nightclub in florida he's from florida i could see him in miami beach just doing blow and hanging out with young girls and uh just you know partying all night that's all i could see him doing but somehow this guy has become donald trump's pick for attorney general i can't help but laugh because it's crazy it's like we're going so fast towards chaos that it's impossible to keep up with it i mean it's almost like donald trump has a has a talent for this stuff it's almost like they said hey uh donald trump here's five or six qualified um and yet far right choices for attorney general and they laid these people out in front of him and he goes no you know who'd be even better the wacky guy who paid underage girls for sex who his own party was investigating the house house was investigating uh these allegations and they were going to come out with results soon and just if you haven't heard what happened was as soon as he found out that he was going to be nominated as attorney general he actually went ahead and um retired from or, or left congress he he resigned from congress so he's no longer in congress so they can't even give us that report that they had on him that was going to reveal some things uh by the way the, the department of justice also had uh started to investigate these allegations but then they didn't pursue it any further so again it fell on the house to maybe come out with some facts about matt gates but we won't know because he now is no longer in congress he is now the nominee for attorney general just think about that it it's crazy. It's crazy. First of all, one of the reasons he was picked was, number one, loyalty to Donald Trump. He's super loyal to him. Number two, he, like Donald Trump, claims that he was a victim of investigations from the Department of Justice and accusations from the left. And therefore, he is someone who probably, like Donald Trump, wants vindication and will start going after people that he felt made his life hard. Um, let's not forget, he also famously asked for a pardon after January 6th. In 2020, he's one of the guys, or 2021, he's one of the guys who uh, asked for a pardon, did not get it. 
So he's done things that are not good, and yet he's the nominee for attorney general. Attorney general is like supposed to be the number one cop in the land. He's supposed to be the person, he or she is supposed to be the person who will prosecute criminals, will go after uh, um, white collar, blue collar, whatever it is, they'll go after them. Merrick Garland is the current attorney general, who, by the way, many are saying he slow stepped the whole investigation on Donald Trump because Merrick Garland wanted to seem fair and apolitical. So he took his time in investigating Trump. If he had sped up his investigation of Trump, maybe we wouldn't be here today because maybe we would have actually had Jack Smith prosecuting Donald Trump on the crimes that he committed on January 6th by telling his followers to attack the Capitol. Maybe uh, he would have uh, con convicted Donald Trump on the crimes he committed when he took classified documents to Mar-a-Lago and kept them and wouldn't return them and was obstructing justice. There's many other things that could have happened if they'd moved fast, but they didn't move fast because they wanted to be neutral. Merrick Garland, who is the attorney general, was one of the people who was being considered. He was considered to be, he was going to be considered to be a Supreme Court justice under Barack Obama. And that's when Senator uh, McConnell, Mitch McConnell, said, no, we can't, we can't approve uh, a Supreme Court justice uh, during an election year like this. It's too close to the election. And then they turned around and they actually approved a Supreme Court justice just months before uh, Joe Biden took power. They, they went ahead and put in Amy Coney Barrett. So the hypocrisy continues. The madness has just started. And it's going to continue. The picks that he's been giving uh, the uh, uh, Donald Trump has been giving. He wants Tulsi Gabbard to be, I think, director of intelligence. Um, he's got this guy, the Fox News uh, guy. There's a guy who's a Fox News personality who was in the military, never had a leadership role, but was in the military. He wants him to be the Secretary of Defense. This is going to be very interesting. Very interesting. And if Matt Gates becomes the Attorney General, who knows what's going to happen? Who knows? The guy who is snorting blow and, and showing off that he takes ED medicine and goes all night with underage girls is going to be our Attorney General. Have you seen the movie State of Idiocracy? You really should because we are there. We have arrived at the State of Idiocracy where just crazier and crazier keeps showing up. I can't wait till the pillow guy gets a gets an appointment. I wonder what he'll get. He'll get the uh, Department of, not health, because I think he's giving Department of Health to uh, JFK Jr. Pillow guy's getting something. What's the pillow guy? Maybe transportation. Just give him transportation. Buttigieg is the transportation guy right now. Think about that. Buttigieg is the transportation guy under the Democrats. What's going to be, who's going to be the transportation guy under Trump? It's got to be something just like the total polar opposite. Kind of like Matt Gates and Merrick Garland. Polar opposites. Merrick Garland was a judge. He was qualified. You go, oh, let's pick a judge. Let's put him in there. Matt Gates, I think, is a lawyer. Who knows if he cheated on the bar? I'm guessing he did. He might have had someone else take the take the exam for him. He looks like Beavis or Butthead or one of those guys. I'm sure he could have paid some guy with hair to put it up, go take the bar for him, and pass the bar. He's not a smart guy, but he is a devious dude. Uh, he managed in getting Kevin McCarthy kicked out of uh, the, the leadership role. I'm no Kevin McCarthy fan, but he pretended like there was other reasons. And what they'd done was under the previous, that Congress, they had given power to one member of their uh, delegation, one member of, of the Republican Party. If they didn't like the leadership role, they could start a whole process and get rid of him. And they got rid of him. And they finally put in uh, Mike Johnson, who also probably has a lot of skeletons in his closet. Look up Mike Johnson when you're done. Just look at the way he looks. He looks like he's got some skeletons. The point is, it's going to be entertaining. It's going to be very entertaining. And the question becomes, Will they pass Matt Gates? It's possible um, because you just saw Tommy Tuberville had said that um, if they don't pass him, if the Senate Senate uh, does not pass him and there's people that stand in the way, that uh, MAGA world will come after them. By the way, Donald Trump is trying to actually take a whole other approach. There's a way where you say, call the Senate into recess. So you just say, oh, we're not, we're, we're taking a break. And then he can appoint whoever he wants without confirmation, and they can be in that position for like a year or so. So he wants to sidestep the whole thing. He basically wants to do the dictatorship thing. And that might happen if the Senate agrees to go along with him, because now that it's Republican majority, basically he has uh, taken over as the dictator that he said he would. And, and the fact that he even wants to do that shows you that he's not a believer in democracy. He's a believer in doing what he wants. And they always say this is a mandate that the American people have given us. They want us to do this. We, they, they want us to go after... Um, these other people, but they're making up crimes. They want to go after Adam Schiff for what? For for trying to actually uh, impeach Donald Trump or 
his involvement in January 6th. I mean, our eyes saw what our eyes saw. You can't tell me that the people that attacked the Capitol on January 6th were tourists. They weren't tourists. They were hitting cops with poles. They were beating them. There was a tasing going. There was a lot of violence. Those guys are criminals. And in any other sane world, they would be put away for a long time and they wouldn't have a president who says, I'm going to pardon them. And you. And by the way, that, that president... Uh, that was their leader would also be put away. But that's not the world we're in. We're in the world where Matt Gates is going to be our attorney general. Wow. Can't wait. I can't wait. <sighs> Guys, let's just, just breathe in, breathe out. We'll get through the la- next four years, I think. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, actually, forget that. They're going to, he's going to, it's going to be a dictatorship. So it's just going to keep going. So welcome to uh, the Trump, King Trump world. Enjoy it. Have fun. I'm comedian Maz Jobrani. I've got a special on YouTube. It's called The Birds and the Bees. I want you to check it out. It's free. If you like it, leave a comment. You know, tell your friends. If you don't like it, just keep it to yourselves. Also, I'm on tour all over the country. Go to mazjobrani.com. Come out. Let's have a laugh as the ship sinks.